The Netherlands will hand over F-16s to Ukraine, which they said goodbye to during the last symbolic flight over the country. This was reported by the Ministry of Defense of the Netherlands. The Dutch Ministry of Defense has officially said goodbye to the F-16 Fighting Falcon, which has proven its effectiveness in military operations for 45 years. The first of 213 fighters arrived at the Lowerden Air Base on June 6, 1979, replacing the old F-104 Starfighter. During their service, the F-16s took part in numerous international missions, including NATO operations in the former Yugoslavia in 1993, as well as military campaigns in Afghanistan, Libya and Jordan. The fighter jets have repeatedly performed important missions in combat, demonstrating high skill and professionalism. During the ceremony, the last eight aircraft flew over the Netherlands, symbolizing the end of the F-16 era in the Netherlands. However, their story is not over yet. Out of the 14 remaining aircraft that have not been sold or retired, 18 are now in Romania, where they train both Romanian and Ukrainian pilots. The Netherlands also decided to give Ukraine the latest F-16s, which emphasizes their support in the fight against Russian aggression. Netherlands has allocated a new aid package of 210 million euros for the restoration of critical infrastructure and humanitarian aid. This was stated by Dutch Foreign Minister Kasper Veldkamp. In New York, Veldkamp held a meeting with his G7 counterparts and Ukrainian counterpart Andriy Sibiga, after which he announced a new aid package for Ukraine. The Netherlands announces a new 209.5 million euro support package aimed at rebuilding critical infrastructure, including through the EBRD, and providing humanitarian assistance, said the Dutch Foreign Minister. In addition, the Netherlands will contribute 45 million euros to the Energy Support Fund for Ukraine and finance the supply of necessary equipment. Artillery units in the Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk are aiming to destroy Russia's weapons and supply routes as the strategic city continues to be shelled by enemy forces. The commander of Artillery Battery, 15th Brigade, Danilo told British broadcaster Sky News that the city was becoming increasingly difficult to defend as the enemy increases their production every day. Russia's forces are seeking to advance into the city given that it is an important supply hub for Ukrainian forces, according to reports. Homes and buildings in the city have been destroyed, and some left derelict. Resident Hanna told Sky that it felt like people don't matter to anyone and that the fighting had turned Pokrovsk into a dead city. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris in Washington on Thursday. The talks were part of Zelensky's push to get the U.S. to allow his troops to use long-range weapons to strike deeper into Russia. But the Kremlin sent a strong, new warning to the West this week. President Vladimir Putin said that any nation's conventional attack on Russia that was supported by a nuclear power would be considered a joint attack on his country. Вчора наша автівка загнала ворожу обстрілу. В неї потрапила ворожа так званий FPV дрон. Але на щастя, наші рятувальники залишились цілими.
Противник здійснює кожного дня нарощування певних, певної продукції, наприклад, це боєприпасів, FPV, щоб ми так само могли знищувати це все.